Damn, it's storming out here. Uh, what's up, everybody? <laughs> um, well, this little conundrum is happening. Todd, just gonna uh. do my intro. What's up, everybody? My name is Captain Wugs, and welcome back to another episode of Detroit Become Human. Last time we left it off, you know, this whole thing was happening. We're just now starting up Kara's stuff. Dinner is ready. And, uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. Make sure y'all, uh, hit the like and subscribe buttons, you know, so I can keep making more awesome content like this for y'all. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. That's cool, Kara. You're doing you. Around the light. This one? Serve Alice and Todd. Water. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. Alice first. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. Uh -huh. I do. I go out and hire a fucking android. What's your problem, Todd? Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. Uh, you're making me kind of sad, Todd. You ruined my fucking life. Stop huh? moving around, for Christ's sake! You're making me nervous. Yo. What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Not the life I would dream of. Ain't gonna hold Maybe it. you think this is easy. It's not, but... Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Bitch took off without a word. Yo, fucking walked out on me for a fucking account. It's all your fault. <laughs> it's all your fucking fault. Yo. Personally, if that was me, I'd whoop his. Back here. I'd whoop his Come cheek back here. here. Right now. Who are you yelling at? I'd suck you in your mouth right now, bro. All right, we out. You stay there. My bad. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. Last time. Oh, I took off without a word. Okay, come on. Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. I could have been happy. I could have had a family. But no. Come on. I don't give a shit about how I felt. I did everything I could to make her happy. I just wasn't good enough for her. Listen, life is life is not easy, bro, but you doing this acting crazy and then blaming the child and shit. Little that's not cool, man. Brat. You gotta you gotta grow up and be a man, bro. This ain't this this ain't how it is. It's all her fault. You just gotta do your best and give love, bro. Hell no. It's time for me to go, bro. Screw your orders. You're obviously not gonna sleep fast enough. We gotta go. I'm an expert. 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 Let's break through the walls, baby. Woo! You've leveled up. You've leveled up now. Alice. Time to go. Time to go. Time to go. We got. It's time to go, Alice. We gotta go. Okay, okay. Lock it. Lock it. No. 
Alice. He's coming. He's gonna hurt me. Run! Get away! Or he's gonna break you like last time! No, we ain't leaving. Alice, we gotta go. Okay? You're coming with me. Daddy's very mad, Alice. Very mad. Oh, fucking Brad. It's all her fault. It's all her fucking fault. Todd, you better chill out, homie. right there. It's alright. I got you, alright? I'm not gonna let Todd hurt you ever again. Alright? Yo, Kara's story is already sad, dude. All right, so I looked at the tree web thing, right? There's a lot that could happen with Kari and Alice. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? Having a I good time, man. Parties. Get some top, you know what I mean? Schmoozers to go to. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Huh. Come on, let's have a drink. All oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. All right, let's go. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. It's, uh, poor. Some stuff. This is such a hard control. This way? That way? This way? That way? What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Like this? Oh! Did you leave the light on in the studio? No. No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Huh? Call the police. Calling. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's Android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Uh, maybe that's not a good idea, Carl. Maybe we should wait for the police. But, you're the man. Let's go. Alright, I'm taking you upstairs. Let's go. We're leaving. Alright, Carl. You're acting crazy, man. Come on, you're like, you're like 80, dude. What if they like take you hostage and then I have to like fight them or something, dude? Oh, it's your stupid son. Leo, what are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. What are you talking about? It's crazy about? what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna He's be already alive ruined sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, Ooh. get him away from there. Get him out of here. You want me to touch him? Uh, Leo, listen. Listen. You should go before things get worse. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? 
Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing. Yo, enough. Get out Leo. Right now. What makes it so special anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't leave him alone? Yo! Let's see what you got. Leo, Marcus, chill out, homie. Don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't do anything. What are you talking about? Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Ugh, stop it. Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! This is not fair! Ah! Ah! I'm gonna break your shit! Let's go! Forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. I'm gonna destroy you. And then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit anymore because you're nothing. You hear me? You're I'm gonna show you nothing. what a real man is. Go ahead. This is how a man acts. Carl. Carl. Oh, no. Please don't go. Don't leave. God damn it, Leo. You gave him a heart attack. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. But no. you told no. me not to fight back. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. Huh? Never would have happened if it weren't for you. What are you talking about? You started it. They're not going to believe me. The android. It was the android. Wow! Why'd you kill him? After getting up from that, that, dude, that's crazy. He went for Marcus immediately. Bro's an op. He didn't even care about his dad. How long were you in the attic? Why don't you even try to run away? Then we got this dude over here. Say something, goddammit! That's a stone cold machine right there, man. Fuck it. I'm out of here. Mr. Krabs, it's not your fault, man. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. Software instability. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Obviously, you guys have no luck doing it. We have to lose. Top G right there. Go ahead. Let's Connor's top G. Yours. Come on now. Let him show you. All right. Let's go. Extract confession. All right. Yeah, patiently waiting. Okay. Let's go. Analyze. Let's see. Damaged arm. The blood from the victim. Earn marks. Like a stepchild. My name is Connor. 
What about you? What's your name? I'm just calming him down. All right. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. Blame him. You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Probably not. Probe if you memory. won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! Whoa. No, please don't do that. There it is. That's the reaction I'm looking for. What? <laughs> what are they going to do to me? They're gonna tear you apart piece by piece. They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? Yes. The truth. They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Why did you tell them you found me? It's my job. Why couldn't you just have left me there? They would have. I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. You don't want to die. Maybe you shouldn't have killed then the talk man. Talk to me. I, I. I can't. Oh my goodness, dude. I'm just gonna have to, just gonna have to go at you more, man. That's it. Twenty-eight stab wounds. <laughs> Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again um, and again. Please, was... please leave me alone. All right. All right. Everything is going to be okay. There we go. Now. If you don't talk, they're going to tear you apart and analyze you piece by piece. They're going to destroy you. Do you understand? Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I'm not the one accused of murder, right? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Master manipulator me? right here. You're dead. a master. Okay. Can't go too high. Gotta be careful with my words. Fuck! I'm not getting anywhere. I give up. You sure I can't interrogate him more? Beat him up a little bit? Should I have given him optimal, like, full range interrogation? And then... Just lock it up. Alright, let's go. Leave me alone! Don't uh -oh. touch me. That's not good, that's not good, that's not good. What the fuck are you doing? Move it! You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking uh -oh. animal's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker! Oh. That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Whoa! I'm not gonna get away with it this time. Well, we need it. 
We could still probe its memory. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. Why are you looking at me like that? How does they don't need you exploding on me? Still use your information. What was that? Software instability. Come on now. All right. We got time for one more uh, in Kara's story. I think this is Kara's story now. Again. And they're having me control every action. What's next? You want me to, like, do actions for every single fingertip moving, dude? Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. I'm just gonna have to leave. Thanks, man. You're, you're a big help. Pretty cold. Okay? And we only just walked outside. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Oh man. Uh it's hard taking care of a child. Come on, Alice, we've gotta hurry. There's some organic coffee. Let's see. Got a store right here. Got that place, that place, a hotel, coffee. Okay. First, let's go to the laundry mat. See if we can find some money in the machines. Is that Miles? It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. sleeping Damn it. 
child. Oh. Oh. Alice, so you're about to make me flip a coin. You're about to make me flip a coin. Where's the coin? Where's my coins at? Um. Let's toss this remote. God damn it. You're right. We won't do it, okay? Moral compass. I I could I could try to steal it again. Um Alright Alice, we gotta we gotta go then since you don't go. want the clothes. Come on. I do need to get rid of these clothes, though. What? Alice, what's wrong, bro? Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. Lion. You look lost. Whoa. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Tonight. Okay. Come on, Alice. Thank you for using Detroit buses. We need somewhere comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. Oh, it's okay. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. We're gonna be squatters. Okay. We don't want to go into the motel. We'll get caught instantly. Sorry. <coughs> Listen, kid. We got to do what we got to do. All right? We're taking them damn clothes. We're taking the clothes and then we're going to... Then we're going to... Then we're going to go. Steal. It's stealing time. Want to take those two? We're taking his jacket and everything. Sorry, Alex, but we're going to have to wear these. Oh, damn. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the, the bodega over here. Is it over here? Hello? Good thing. 
We can't, Alice. I don't have any money. We have to find forty dollars. Or go somewhere else. Right, 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 right. This is the motel, not the bodega. Stupid. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. Can I help you? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Look, this is a convenience store, lady, not the Salvation Army. I can't start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood. Let's find a plan. Deal. All right, let's leave. Let's so just leave now. Oh, that's it. Cool. Man, there's gonna be a lot of cuts in this video, huh? Walking around cluelessly. Another R1? Should I just spam R1? No. Are you alright? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Alright. Be careful, Alice. Don't need you getting hurt now. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Okay. A sturdy board. Don't see nothing? No Alice? way. Oh damn. Okay. Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors, they're nasty. Uh Maybe Ralph, off. chill out, man. She's just a little girl, she's not gonna hurt you. Little girl? She's not a little girl. Anyway, what does that matter? Maybe what? she wants to hurt Ralph. No. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans want to hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. Ralph, you better chill out, homie. We thought nobody was here. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look they did to Ralph. Damn, dude. Listen, we really need some help. It would be so kind of you if you'd let us stay. You must excuse Ralph. Really? Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Yeah. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. Speaking in the third person, homie. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Okay. We'll just stay the night. <laughs> come on. Come. Come, come on. Be careful with your knife, man. This way. Ralph has lived here since he ran away. 
Ralph never goes outside, so no one knows he lives here. Humans come in to squat from time to time, but, you know, Ralph just hides till he leaves. <laughs> he didn't do the same with us. We were the exception? Uh, stay close to me, Alice. Bro's trippy. Ralph is gonna go into the other room. He would like to stay with you. But he has things to do. Mm, sure, it's man. Just for one night, Alice. We'll find a better place tomorrow. Right. We have the place across town tomorrow. Let's see where you can sleep. Okay. Sit down and I'll start a fire. In the house? Full of wood? Made of wood? Alright. Um, let's not bother Mr. Ralph over there. What is this? Paper. Pillows, nice. And a perfect quilt that is very stiff. Where's the fireplace? Right over there. There we go. Okay, we need firewood. I... Wood? No. Got a nice little escape point here, I think. No. We need wood. There's plenty of wood everywhere, dude. Come on, can we not take any of this? Hmm. You know, looks like nothing's wrong in here. Well, let's head back downstairs. We will discover that in the morning. We can't do this tonight. We we cannot discover that tonight. Come on now. That <laughs> that's crazy. I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Is there any wood in here? It doesn't look like it. Put that paper there. I need to find matches. Oh, hey. <laughs> you speak and you shall receive. I need to find wood. Oh, here we go. Yeah, no, in the morning we'll go check out what's in the shower, I guess. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't see that, okay? <laughs> We we need to stay here for one night. That's it, and then we can, can confront him on his bobo. I did what I could. It's not much, but at least you'll be warm. Okay. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? He was on drugs, kiddo. All I wanted was a life like other girls. He couldn't think straight. Maybe I did something wrong. No. Maybe I wasn't good enough. No, come on. That's why he was always so angry. No, there was nothing wrong with you, okay? I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Can we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. 
You'll never leave me, right? Promise you'll never go. Never. I promise. Will we be together forever? Forever. I didn't have a choice to say forever or not, but okay. Well, until you grow old and die, Alice, but, you know, as long as you live, I'll be there, but, you know, as soon as you, like, turn 90, I don't know. Can't protect you from a heart attack when you're poor. You've got to sleep. Am I seeing stuff? Or is that like... Nah. Sleep tight, Alice. Make sure she's okay. Can't leave her by herself, because then we don't know what the heck Ralph will do. There's so much to do in this area. Whoa! All right, seems like a good place to end the video. All right, if you guys watched this far, I'd like to thank you so much for watching this far. Um, I'd like to ask you to please like and subscribe. It'll really help me, and I'll really appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.